And now to the Biden presidency, the administration has carried out its first military operation. The U.S. launched a series of airstrikes targeting Iranian-backed militia groups in Syria. CBS 4's Deborah Afron reports from Washington. President Biden ordered airstrikes in eastern Syria yesterday, targeting buildings used by Iranian-backed militias. It's the first military action taken by this commander-in-chief. We're confident in, uh, in the target that we went after. We know what we did. The Pentagon said it was retaliation for a rocket attack in Iraq last week that killed a civilian contractor and wounded an American service member. And we're confident that that target was being used by the same uh, Shia militia that, uh, that conducted the, the strikes. The United States says it consulted with coalition partners before action was taken. We allowed uh, and encouraged the Iraqis to investigate and develop intelligence, and that was very helpful to us. Last week's attack in the Iraqi city of Erbil also wounded several others. One of them got brain injury and operated here and now under ventilator. In a statement, the Pentagon said the operation sends an unambiguous message. President Biden will act to protect American and coalition personnel. <laughs> Tensions had come since a tit for tat just over one year ago that included violent protests at the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad and a U.S. drone strike that killed Iranian General Qasem Soleimani. An administration official told CBS News that the Syrian town of al Bukamal was selected for yesterday's attack as part of a calibrated response to avoid provoking Iran to retaliate further. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Washington.